there and welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. Wow, it feels like it's been ages. <laughs> I did get a bit creative and I made a new intro and a new outro. And I just, the first time I watched it, I actually cried. Uh, I just found it so simple and so beautiful. And that little flower, that little white flower at the front, uh, every time I go on my walks and I see them, they're always full of little bees. So when I just see it sitting there and it's by itself, I'm always waiting for a little bee to come along, you know, and, um, and sit on it, you know, and take what it needs to take. Uh, so much has happened um, since the last few videos. I had a few that I had posted up and I deleted them because I found at the time I was really entangled with other people's energies. Uh, they weren't really my energies and it took a while to clear that out of my system. But uh, more importantly than that, uh, I got busy writing another book. So <laughs> the last time I spoke to you, the When Love Leaves was actually the new book. Uh, there's another book coming out, which I'm waiting for. Um, I've just finished writing it and I'm just waiting for the hard copies now. So you'll have it right here soon. And it's going to be so beautiful. And um, so many new uh, awarenesses have come through, you know, um, from the latest book and from my trip, you know, because the last thing that happened um, with the videos, I was going overseas to see my parents and uh, it was really all about my trip and how that all went and you know what um, came forth what was revealed you know from this trip ah uh, there's just so much you know <laughs> ah, but um okay I'm just trying to find a place to start so let's start with the new book that's coming out soon um, with when Love Leaves, I now have um, ebooks that I can give away to subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. There's an email address below. Uh, send us an email in 25 words or less of which book you would like and why. Why are you drawn to that particular book? And, uh, and I'll be choosing people to give away ebooks to you know to um, get you on your path so I've realized uh, in this lifetime it seems that my purpose is to help people with their past now uh, in many places many 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 places I find people talk about ignoring the past you know you just focus on the future and if your thoughts are towards the future then you're not giving that past any energy right this this is the thinking this is the mentality is what is being taught now i pose this question to you when you are out and about in your day do you find that there are moments that you get what's called triggered that something will make you get angry you know someone will say something and you find that your anger flares up you know and you just want to lash out at that person or you find that someone will do something or they'll say something and um, and you just feel incredibly sad inside. Or something makes you afraid. You know, it flares up this fear inside of you. Situations, circumstances, people. Um, these three things are telling you that you are still attached to something from the past. And that's why I'm still here being asked by the angels to keep talking about the past. There is so much that has been revealed with the latest book. The latest book is called You Can Change Your Past. And you can, you know, it's not about changing the events. The events were never the problem. What happened was never the problem. You know, it was what we interpreted, what we took away, what we decided about these events. And each belief that we create around these events is what keeps us stuck in the past. So that when certain people come up into your life 
or certain situations you find yourself in certain situations you'll get anxious or you'll feel afraid that's all indicating that you're still stuck somewhere in the past there's a belief that you created about yourself this is the most important thing the belief that you create is about yourself and that belief is what keeps you stuck there so no matter how much you're trying to row forward with this boat <laughs> you know into the future into the future and you've got all these plans of things that you want to do do you find that you like going around in circles the same patterns keep appearing the same things keep happening it's very important that you start to notice these things because they're appearing and they're happening and they're repeating for you on purpose there is something here that you were meant to experience in this lifetime. And that's why certain things will keep repeating on a loop over and over. Different people come in, same experience, same experience. I remember talking to a friend and she was talking about changing jobs. And I said to her, you do realize she wanted to change jobs because she didn't get on with her boss. Her boss was a bully, you know, <laughs> to put it, you know, in words that everyone will understand. She was constantly bullying my friend, right? And throwing her weight around and all that sort of attitude. So my friend didn't want to work there anymore. She loved the job. She loved the work. She just didn't like her boss. And so I said to her one day, you do realize that you're going to change jobs and there will be someone in your new job that will still keep treating you that way because there is something there that you're meant to learn about yourself. There's something there you're meant to experience, you're meant to be aware of. This is happening for you for a reason. It's not that you're the victim that you're being picked on. No, you've chosen these events in your life for a very specific experience. You've chosen them. I know for some people it's hard to take in that we choose these experiences. So in the next few videos, we're going to talk about why would we choose certain experiences? Why would we come here to go through certain things? Now, I'm going to leave you with this thought. Many, many years ago, I went to visit my father-in-law with my husband and when we were there he said something to me and at the time I thought wow he's really missed the whole purpose of life <laughs> and it's only been when I finished writing this last book bless his heart he's already passed away but I finished writing this last book and I realized wow he was actually giving me a pearl of wisdom what he said to me was if all we did every day was to be at peace from morning till noon and that's all we did we were at peace in this wonderful state of bliss he said that would be so boring and at the time i thought wow he just doesn't get it does he you know he's just so far away from this place called peace that he just doesn't get it but what if and I want you to sit with this for today. What if you come here knowing that you already are peace, you already are love, you already are joy and bliss and ecstasy and all these wonderful feelings. You already are all these things. You are made of all these things. You are it. And you have come here to experience not being it. So, you know, it's a place to start for these videos, you know. What if we didn't come here to be peace, to be love, to be bliss? What if we came here to be the opposite of all of that? Because we already are that. Has it ever occurred to you? All right, my beautiful beings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the beautiful messages that are coming through. 
Mm. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.